So a few weeks ago, I was at a Nats box party with a couple of my friends. And one of them says to me, Hey man, have you heard about the new Warface game? And my ears instantly shot up, my eyes widened, because I absolutely love the Warface franchise, and I could not wait to hear what they had in store. So I instantly went to check it out. And what I came across was Warface Breakout. Now, this is probably going to be like the first Warface Breakout breakout video you see that hasn't been sponsored by my dot games which yes it would be nice to be sponsored but i mean i'm only like four subscribers but it also means i can give my honest opinions on the game and i can't be influenced by them because they're not paying me to say nice things about the game or promote it so i can just give my honest opinions on this game because honestly i really enjoyed this game i know i say that in a lot of my videos because i i do like to give my honest opinions and I did really enjoy this game. I'm just going to give you the quick rundown. I know you've probably seen a lot of people play this game like PewDiePie, Guitarfit, and Guitarfit's friend all play this game. And they all say the exact same thing. But this is the first paid game by MyDot Games. They usually do either just free PC, Xbox games like Warface or some other free mobile apps which you can also download. And this is their first paid one. Now, I know if you've played Warface, you'll understand that a lot of the things in the game are paid for. Like, you have to rent some weapons, and to get them full-time, you have to buy them with real money, and other stuff like that, as well as armor. But in this game, you just buy the game. You can buy currency, but that currency will only get you cosmetics. So you don't actually have to spend any money, except for the $20 originally set forward as the original price. Now, in the seasons, they are saying there will be a battle pass, but obviously it will be free, so you will not have to buy anything besides the game itself. And that was a really good thing for me, like, really good thing to hear, as I just spent that exact same amount of money buying Minecraft Dungeons. I didn't really think I had it to spare, but I did, and I bought the game within a couple of days of it being released. Now, I think I'm a level 43, 44, around that area, because I've played a lot. And I know I've been gone for like three weeks maybe. And in that time I've been playing a lot of this game. Let's just start with how it looks. This game looks really nice and really clean. It looks like a really high quality console game. It looks a lot like Warface because that's what it is. The maps are taken straight from Warface and some of the guns are taken from Warface. But a lot of it has just been completely redone. Like the skins, a lot of the weapons, the armor... The voice lines, almost everything has been completely built from the ground up. And that's what I love so much about this game. Because you can tell there's been so much love and care put into this game. And you can really tell how proud the developers are of making this game. By watching them build up this massive project that they love so much, it's given us so much good things. From like Even in Warface, you can completely have a new take on the game. Now, I must say this, you are just paying for a game mode. So far, there is one game mode, you can do casual or hardcore, and this game mode is that CSGO game mode. You have every round, you buy weapons every round, if you die, you die for good. It's extremely tactical, and teamwork is definitely required at all times. But you have seen this game done before, multiple times, in games like CSGO, Valorant, counter blocks roblox offensive all those good premium games and to be honest warface breakout doesn't bring anything new to this valorant added things like different character classes and stuff like that to make it brand new and fresh but warface didn't and that doesn't really matter because it has brought that game mode that console players have waited for for a long time and they finally brought over to xbox and playstation and that's amazing and I don't really mind that it doesn't bring anything new because it doesn't have to bring anything new to the table because it's all there for you right off the bat and it's just so good to finally have this on console and I know there's some weird old losers out there who are thinking oh but 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 don't I it, do, it doesn't it won't work on console I, I'm too much of a radical PC game I don't think it'll work on console well you're wrong and not only are you wrong but you're stupid too this game 
is definitely optimized for Xbox and PlayStation. You can run, you can aim down sights, you can do all the stuff you would do in a normal console shooter. It's just the game mode that they're adding. So if you've played Warface, you will instantly feel right at home in this game. Because it is built exactly like a console shooter. You can run, you can jump, you can aim, you can pull out your cool karambit that I don't yet own. And you can do all that cool stuff. So if you're thinking that you are too used to CSGO and like not running, not aiming and all that stuff, well then it's nothing like that. Because whilst I say they don't bring anything new to the table, they haven't copied CSGO or Valorant or any of those other games because they have imported those mechanics from console shooters directly into this game to make it a console shooter. And that's amazing. It's perfect. It fits so well in this game that... It basically feels like it's an original console game because of how well it's optimized and how well the mechanics work on a console. Now, I don't know if they have any immediate plans to port it over to PC. I am almost certain they will because it'll make them a lot of money seeing as it's had a huge success on console that it should probably bring them a lot of success on PC too. Maybe not as much because of CSGO and Valorant, but still quite a lot. Now, let's walk through what happens when you get into the game. You get into the game, you have the cool menu, you can equip skins, you can open boxes, you do get loot crates, I don't know if you can directly buy them, but you get them every level like you can in Overwatch, and you get cosmetics and calling cards and icons and all that stuff, and it's definitely a good system. It makes leveling up unpredictable. Which is a good thing because if you just level, if you're just grinding for these levels, and you just keep getting what you want, you'll have no reason to come back. But with these random crates, you can just keep getting a bunch of random loot, and it's always exciting to see what you get. Like I've been waiting for a karambit for 44 levels now, and I still haven't got one. So that still gives me motivation to play and push for those higher levels, so I eventually do get the karambit that I want. And that probably will happen soon. I hope because I've got a lot of skins. I've I've got literally the rarest knife, which is the golden butterfly knife, and that is the rarest thing you can get from these boxes. And I still am not happy because it's not a karambit. So please, developers, give me a karambit. So when you get into the game, you are put into the loading screen with some fucking death grips music. <laughs> And then you will spawn on either the Wardens or the Reapers. The Wardens are the defending team and the Reapers are the attacking team. Round one is usual pistol round, but you have a very wide range of different weapons you can buy later on in the game, which go from snipers to shotguns to SMGs and assault rifles and LMGs on all those good, all those good guns. And on Wardens, you have completely different guns. They are, there are no two guns that are the same on either team. There are very similar guns, but they're definitely not the same, and they bring very different gameplay styles to each weapon. So I think that's really cool. The only thing that are basically the same are, like, most of the shotguns, because, I mean, they're just shotguns, so there's not really much variety you can get from them. But there is still a lot of variety in how they look and how they feel when you play. Now, you will have to... Pl you can win by killing the enemy team... Or planting the bomb as reapers and blowing it up and defending the bomb, obviously. As wardens, you can kill all the reapers or defuse the bomb after it's been planted. Or just wait the time. And when the reapers run out of time, then the wardens will win. And that is directly how you would win in CSGO. So, like I said, it's a very, very similar concept. And you, if you're a PC gamer, there's a very high chance you've played something like this. Even if you're a console gamer, there are still, like various different games that have run this game mode like kind of like rainbow six siege in a way rainbow six siege is a very very tactical version of csgo but it's still that same concept the game is first to win eight rounds and the maximum round you can have is 15 you change teams around eight so there is no way you can win consecutively without changing i think you can get up to seven wins so it'd be 7-0 and you would have to change teams so you will have to change at least, well, you will have to change once in the game, which is good 
But that eight rounds can feel like a very long time in certain situations. Because it's a Warface game at core, that means a lot of the game will be drawn out. Because these maps, whilst they're not extremely big, they're extremely maze-like with lots of cover. And it will take a while to get used to it all. But after you start playing a lot, you can kind of see different paths forming as different players play. Because you understand how these players think. Because you think the same way when you're on their team. So you will get to familiarise how the enemy thinks and where they will go. Now this gives both teams a massive advantage. But also a disadvantage because predicting where they're going can also make you predictable. Because you're going to counter them which will make them expecting a counter so it is all very it's like a lot of mind games going on in this and you will have to get used to it all but once you do it's so rewarding and getting kills is probably the best feeling now let's go over some criticisms um i did hold off on making this video because they did release a patch and they brought a lot of updates like the snipers are easier to use there is a issue in the game where if you go into a gunfight there might every now and then there's a little bit of lag and your screen just freezes for a few seconds and those few seconds definitely life or death you could either continue playing and you'll be dead or the other person will be dead and there's no way to tell for those few seconds now they have fixed that slightly they've made it easier on us and they've changed a lot of it just to make it easier to play but the one thing i didn't change is the shotguns the shotguns are garbage i'm just gonna throw up a couple of clips now of me using shotguns where i definitely should have got kills but i didn't because these shotguns not only do no damage but you can literally sneeze on the enemy and do more damage than these shotguns would i mean rubber bullets couldn't even stop protesters why do you think they're gonna stop a full tactical team built of body armor and kevlar with bombs and better weapons like, seriously, what is this? Now, I think that basically wraps up how I feel about the game. The soundtrack is, like I said, it's very Death Grips-esque. It's very experimental, and there's lots of different beats going around, and I swear you can hear MC Ride in the background just screaming his head off. And being a Death Grips fan myself, I kind of get enjoyment out of this, just waiting for the lobby to load. Now, this game is definitely more fun with friends, if you have any, which I don't. And it's it brings a whole new meaning to team play when you have friends and when you don't have friends. Because in the nicest way possible, everyone who plays this game, who isn't directly talking to you at the time, is incompetent as hell. They don't understand how to... It feels like they don't understand how to play. Like, I swear, 9 out of 10 times, if there's one teammate alive on my team and one on the enemy team, my teammate will lose. Either the enemy team will plant the bomb at A, and they'll just camp at B, or they'll just basically run backwards into the enemy and die. It's just, it's not a case of them getting better, it's a case of them having no one to tell them what's going on, and a case of them being alone. So it's not directly their fault that it's happening, but I do feel like they could definitely get better in that situation. I definitely rate this game a solid 8 out of 10, definitely worth the money i cannot recommend this enough this video isn't sponsored at all i'm not even a part of the creator program i mean i'd like to be i definitely do plan on doing more warface breakout videos because i'm having an absolute blast with this game i know you kind of some of you might have watched like the pewdiepie videos and just thought eh well he's being paid to say this so i mean he might not be having that much fun but i can i don't have a doubt in my mind after playing this game that he was fully enjoying it because it's so fun and I'm so happy that CSGO experience is finally on a console and I cannot wait to see what updates they bring out next. Season 1's coming out soon and I might do a video on it, I might not, we'll see. But I'm super excited to see what they have in store. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later.